Understanding Intangible Abstract Nouns at Grammar Songs by Melissa. You have learned that a basic noun can be a person, place, or thing. You've also learned that a basic noun is something you can see, hear, smell, touch, or taste, but maybe not all at once. These nouns are physical or tangible because you can detect them by using your five senses. Here are some examples of some physical or tangible nouns. Some people also call these nouns concrete, but not all nouns are concrete. Some nouns are intangible or non-physical. You can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste them. They are abstract. I can't show you what they look like, but I can give you some real-world examples. Events are examples of abstract or intangible nouns. Imagine you go to a friend's house. Of course, there are basic concrete nouns everywhere. You see decorations and balloons, a table with presents. You see, smell, and can taste a cake, punch, and other foods. You hear music and can feel the vibrations. You see other friends dancing and having fun. What event is this? Of course, it's a party. You can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste a party, but you can detect all of the concrete physical nouns that make up an event. As you know, a place is a basic concrete noun. An event is an intangible or abstract noun. Events usually happen at places. For example, a wedding is an event that can happen at a place like a church. A picnic is an event that can happen at a place like a park. And a parade is an event that can happen at a place like a city. Events are made up of people, places, or things you can experience with your five senses, but the event itself is an abstract noun. Emotions can also be examples of abstract nouns. Love, anger, joy, fear, and sadness are all nouns, but you can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste them. Ideas are also examples of abstract nouns. You can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste friendship itself, but you can enjoy spending time with your friends who are people or concrete nouns just like you are. You can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste freedom, but certain people or objects stand as symbols to express this abstract concept. So now that we've explored some abstract nouns such as events, emotions, and ideas. Let's see if we can find some nouns in some sentences. We will look for nouns that are either concrete or abstract. Remember, concrete nouns are physical, they can be people, places, or things, and you can see, hear, smell, touch, or taste them. Abstract nouns are intangible or non-physical. They can be events, feelings, ideas, or concepts. Here we go. The boy had permission to go to the park. First, let's look for concrete nouns. Concrete nouns form the picture in my head when I read. The boy had permission to go to the park. I get a picture of a boy and a park. A boy is a person and a park is a place. The boy went to the park. People and places are basic concrete nouns. We can circle boy and park since they are nouns. But are there any other nouns in this sentence? Let's look at the remaining words in this sentence. Remember, abstract nouns are intangible or non-physical. They don't make pictures in my head because I can't see, hear, smell, touch, or taste them. So how can I recognize abstract nouns? Remember, abstract nouns can be events like a parade, emotions like fear and love, or ideas or concepts like friendship. Let's check for abstract nouns. Is the an event, emotion, or concept? No. Is had an event, emotion, or concept? No. Is permission an event, emotion, or concept? Permission is an idea or concept. It's a thing needed to be permitted to engage in an activity or pursue an ambition, like going to the park. And a thing is a noun, so we should circle permission. Let's keep going. Is to? An idea, event, or emotion? No. Is go an event, emotion, or idea? No. Is to an event, emotion, or idea? No. Is the an event, emotion, or idea? No. 
Hooray! We've circled all the nouns. Great detective work. Let's explore another sentence. The cookie brought joy to the toddler. First, let's look for the concrete nouns. Concrete nouns form a picture in my head when I read. The cookie brought joy to the toddler. I get a picture of a cookie and a toddler. A cookie is a thing and a toddler is a young person. The cookie brought joy to the toddler. Things and people are basic concrete nouns. So we can circle cookie and toddler since they're nouns. But are there any other nouns in this sentence? Remember, abstract nouns are intangible or non-physical. Abstract nouns can be events, like a wedding, emotions like shyness or anger, or concepts like confusion or wisdom. Let's check for abstract nouns. Is the an event, emotion, or concept? No. Is brought an event, emotion, or concept? No. Is joy an event, emotion, or concept? Joy is an emotion. An emotion is a feeling or thing, and things are nouns. We should circle joy since joy is a noun. Let's see, is to an event, emotion, or concept? No. Is the an event, emotion, or concept? No. Hooray, we've circled all the nouns. Great detective work. You get an A plus on abstract nouns. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa.